you can just spread out, just lie down, be supine, tell us your secrets, we're listening, you know, but... Ah! Oh, come on, guys! You're like, you're, you're, you have more books than us, you get two chairs. Yeah, alright, fine. Let's spread it across. Right. Let's, let's figure this out. Um, anyway, hi, I'm, um, I'm Robin, my YouTube channel is Robin is Rarely Funny. We are going to be doing a, um, a Q&A. We have Jack and Dean from OMFG. Questions or else I will sit here and just look at each of you like this. No questions equals this. But before, before we take questions, we are going to tell you a little about ourselves in case that triggers a question. I'm going to sit here. Okay, um, alright, I'm going to make slides go. So, um, aha! Tell us about you. Hello, I'm Sean. I go by Nanaloo on the interwebs. Um, um, I've been making videos for about two to three years. I do a lot of uh, sketch comedy and music videos, and I do some vlogging. Um, that's pretty much what I do. It has nothing to do with my writing, so they're really separate for me. So when people are like, um, you know, how does your book work with your YouTube videos? It doesn't in terms of just sort of um, completing the circle of creativity. You don't have to just be one thing. You can just like pour all of yourself into different aspects of what you do and being creative and writing my own um, videos uh, just sort of got me to the point where I was like I'm gonna write a book and um, it's it's not as hard as it seems it's, it's possible and um, my book is called Insomniatic Dreams just had to you know look back and make sure I got the title right um, it's a poetry anthology, so that's something that, you know, it's not very marketable um, in our our uh, society. People are like, eh, poetry. But I found that the YouTube community has been so amazing with uh, being accepting and just loving, like, what I've done and just being super supportive, which is, I think, one of the only communities that just takes what you are and says, like, I love you, so I'm going to support you. And then I've gotten so much positive feedback from being like, like, people are... I don't like poetry, but I love your book, and that is just the best compliment because I think that poetry is so huge in all of our lives, like music, and it's so much, but we all just hate poetry because of what we've been forced to study in school. I love your book, Shauna. Oh, thanks That's for having us. <laughs> all right. And it's just really encouraging. So thank you to everyone who's been that person for me because it makes me feel like I can, can do stuff even if it's not considered marketable in huge markets. And that's awesome. So yeah. thank you. Pretty freaking awesome. Okay. Oh, I love that I have the power. I feel like I can just shut you guys <laughs> off. It's fabulous. Well, no, I want to keep you on. I'm going to turn up your volume in a second. But first, let's hear Caleb tell Caleb, us fabulous Caleb, things. Caleb, Caleb, Caleb. Don't make Caleb. anyone nervous. <laughs> this is actually the biggest crowd I've ever talked to before. <laughs> I've talked at events before, but never all the way to the back of the room. It's hard to see because of the lights. But uh, my name is Caleb Nation, and as the OMG Facts people showed you guys, that is actually my real name. I'm from youtube.com slash Caleb Nation. I have been writing books since I was about nine years old, whenever my mom had to force me to start writing because I used to hate it. And then whenever I was 14, I had this crazy idea for a book and I started writing it. And it took me six years to write and finish it. Whenever I was done with it, I thought, well, what do I do now? I've worked six years on this. It's time to get it published. So I went and I got an agent and then the agent was looking for publishers and we found a publisher and they had this very independent way of thinking and I told them I said oh well I, I, by the way I do this stuff on YouTube I have all these views and I have these subscribers and they're like well we want to publish you because they actually like that they thought that YouTube was such a good way of kind of marketing books and telling kids and teenagers about the stuff that I do and so I make videos about writing books I made videos on my first book tour I made videos that followed everything that I've done but I think the biggest thing that YouTube has done for me as a writer is that if I get bad reviews, they don't do anything to me anymore because of the comments that we get on YouTube <laughs> have kind of hardened me because I got that question last week. They're like, how do you deal with bad reviews? I'm like, well, I get this on comment boxes every day, so bad reviews are nothing on anymore. The thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah. On the internet, everyone hates you. Yes. <laughs> so, that's kind of my story. And you do Twilight stuff, or you used to do a lot. I'm not telling you, that. I'm fine. I'm a, that was a lie. That was a fake thing. I have fake things in the PowerPoint. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's me. I haven't written any books yet. Um, I'm kidding. I wrote four. Yeah. Um, 
So I wrote two books a long time ago under my name and I'm really embarrassed of them because they're awkward but unlike YouTube videos you can't go back and private your old books. Um, they're called The Social Climber's Guide to High School and Better Than Yesterday. I really hope you haven't read them. Um, when my YouTube channel got bigger it, they experienced a resurgence of popularity much to my despair. Um, recently I wrote the Nightly Academy series. It's about a boarding school for knights. It's published by Simon & Schuster. It's really exciting. Um, where we're, yeah, let me, let me tell you about my YouTube stuff, I guess. What do I do? I made a YouTube channel when I was living in London. I had two books published and two books about to come out. And I just enjoyed YouTube, so I made a secret channel under Robin is Rarely Funny so that everyone who read my books wouldn't be like, Oh god, that author sucks. Her jump cuts are really bad, and she uses iMovie in a webby. Um, so, unfortunately, I'm stuck with the name now. But um, I, was, I was so nervous. I didn't talk about my books at all. I didn't want to market to anybody. And then everyone started getting into them, and I was like, all right, I guess it's part of the channel now. But yeah, it's, um, it's all kind of become one big thing. I make videos like epic, mad science, crazy science stuff. Um, I do a series called Doctor Who Reviewed um, about the television show Doctor Who. I do it for Doctor Who online. Uh, thank you. It's really cool. Um, I just started a new season. We get to shoot in a steampunk bar in Brooklyn with a real TARDIS. It has a bathroom inside. So every time I come out of it in a cut, we have to make sure that you don't see the toilet. Um, so that's about it. That's us. Um, let's take some fabulous audience questions. Not about that cat, which was a gif. Um, John Oh, I'm, I'm messing with them. Wait till they see what I did. <laughs> um, Jack, right. um, Jack go to the question. All right, this is for Shauna. Oh, hello. Are you going to have another episode of Growing Up Your Nature? Because I know you. All the time, that question. All the time. I do a, um, a spoof series called Growing Up Granger, and it's Hermione's life after book seven, but before like they grow up. So everything has ended, but you know it's still her life. Um, the plan is yes. I would like to. I would like to abduct crab sticks and make him live in my basement. <laughs> and then um, crab sticks is my Harry Potter. If you're not subscribed to him, he is fantastic. He is one of the best English YouTubers, and he is amazing. Um, but yes, I plan to. I hope so. You got one here. You have something that you want to publish. How do you go about doing that? Like finding someone you um, know think, that's reputable or Well, I think all three of us have different stories. I wrote a bunch of books I started writing when I was 13. Um, after I got to about having written four novels and my social life was just way down the toilet, I looked up how to email literary agents and I wrote a query letter and I sent it out, just old-fashioned email from research. There's a great publishing section in Barnes & Noble. And I got an agent and then we sold a book of mine to Random House and it just happened like that. Um, I sold like six books really quickly um, just through having a wonderful agent who believed in what I was doing. Um, I don't know, Caleb, you have a similar... Yeah, my story, I had pretty much always wanted to be an author, so whenever I was like 12, I actually found the number of an editor, I don't know if it was her house or what, and very creepily called her and said, can you publish my book? And I got sent to security right after that, so it was kind of like, I, I got scared after that for a while, but then I went onto a website called agentquery.com, and they just, if you look up, if you put in the type of book that you've written, it'll find you an agent, and then if you get an agent, the agent will get you a publisher. So, that's how I did it. What I did, I self-published, so that means I did everything by myself. It, I had a fantastic editor who's a friend of mine who was brilliant, but it basically means that I go to an online like mass distributor and I put you upload the book file, and which means you have to format it correctly. You are you're in charge of absolutely everything, which is like margins and fonts and kill me now. But it's it was nice to have a lot of control and to be able to make every think how I wanted and now it's like okay now I'm ready to never think about that again and just write the book but for me it was poetry doesn't have a huge audience and I felt like if I self-publish I can get it done faster if I spend a lot of time looking for someone who believes in my work then 
it might not take, it might not happen when I want it to happen. And like I had um, a friend of mine was talking to Random House and different people for me, but it's so slow. And I was like, I want this out now. And that's why we're in such a unique position, like as YouTubers. And for me, as a YouTuber with an audience, like I, I have people who want to read it. So I was like, I'll just do it myself. And I had a fantastic artist named Mary Van Gils who painted the cover for me. And everything is so personal about that book. Like I chose the font. Like I chose what size the font would be. Every single comma is there because me and my editor fought about where that comma would be. And it was it was definitely a, like a an experience. But I, I would like to try going the traditional route. Oh, I hate my cover, and it takes like two years for my books to come out. So you know, I, if I talk about it on a blog TV show where I read an excerpt, everyone's like, "When is it? When is it? When is it?" And I'm like, "Oh, you know, we don't even have the first pass pages. It's it takes forever." Um, I guess. Another audience question. Hi, I uh, I wanted to ask this to all of you. Um, when you, have you guys ever written while wearing spandex? Any of you? Um, I wear American Apparel leggings. I think that they're bottoms, and if people tell me differently, I plug my ears and don't listen. So I have definitely written whilst wearing spandex. I would say I probably wrote a good portion of Nightly Academy whilst wearing spandex because. Like, American Apparel leggings are boss. I've never worn spandex. Caleb, you're wearing spandex right now. Is that my to-do list? <laughs> awesome, yeah, I just wanted to share the power of spandex. That's probably why you're the most, uh... That's why I'm the most prolific. More spandex That's equals more books published. That's why she's over there published. instead of here. It's the truth. Thank you. I'd love to hear Jack and Dean talk. Help, just have a conversation. I mean, I just want to hear you talk. Jack and Dean are on next. Yeah. yeah, so if you stick around after us, you can you can hear Jack and Dean tell you many sweet things and their many sweet accents. Well, they're one sweet accent, I suppose, but they're pure plural. I don't know. Any more questions? Ash, how do you deal with the writer's block? Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, with writer's block, there's two different...